the Noda Artist Residency, I've had quite an enriching experience. I'm known as a transdisciplinary artist, but a lot of the work that I've been putting out has been using video as the main mechanism or digital arts. And here at the Noda Artist Residency, I'm going back to my roots of sorts and working with um, traditional mediums, um, acrylics and ceramics, and thinking about the alchemy and the way that in which these colors and um, and the medium themselves speak to what I've always been talking about, which is an idea of layering, an idea of serendipity, an idea of the everyday magic, spirituality, and fullness of what we do every single day that is just so profound and important to me. Thinking about some of the things I had already been doing in my work, this washing, this bathing, this pouring, it seemed really appropriate to treat the pottery in the same kind of style, washing, bathing, dunking, and of course, not only is that so regular and average to bathe, to wash, it's also kind of a deeply enriching and spiritual thing. Thinking of my everyday experience here, I start my day pretty early in my artist quarters. I use my Wi-Fi situation, start to do research. I'm here with my studio assistant, Sadrak, who's been really amazing throughout the entire experience. He is part of the permanent team here at Nodor and really supported the actual making of the work. Once I need a break or I'm done, I can walk out and, you know, grab something to eat. If I need to go see the sea, get inspired, it's not such a far drive. From When I was thinking about the pottery, I was thinking about how is this made insofar as West African traditions? Why do people make pottery? What is the use? And thinking of, you know, in that space, they use pottery is generally used for either like a spiritual context, it's used for something that's done every day, or it's used as a means of creating arts. I wanted to have something that would maybe suggest all three of their purposes together. I started from a space that I usually start from, which is movement, just how does the body work? And capturing these movements, I typically lean on video. So I got in the studio and I started making these gestures, elaborate gestures, moving from one moment to another, to another, to another. And as I started to think about what exactly did I want to lay onto the canvas, um, silk screen printing came to mind because of its ability to play with ideas of liminality and space and compress time into a singular moment. So once we had the individual slots of time taken from the video, um, we laid them onto the canvas and then I can then I silk screened the piece. Um, painting on top of one layer and then another and another. I need to go see the sea, get inspired. It's not such a far drive from where I am currently. Um, Oxford Street is pretty also centrally located also as well. It's just a really great environment to work, to discover, and to create. So I just generally appreciate it here. Yeah.